This delightful machine that we're standing in front of right now is a Martin Marietta man maneuvering unit. It's uh, got a legacy that goes back a long way, back to the Skylab era. We flew a machine that looked a lot like this inside the Skylab in order to find out what we needed to do to, to maneuver an astronaut free flying in space without a tether. George came in and said, uh, this is the crew. Now, you Vance, you, you can do whatever you want to with these guys, but Bruce and Bob are going to fly the MMU. <sighs> I mean, this is an experimental test pilot's dream. When you're evaluating an airplane, either as a test pilot as on an airplane or a helicopter, or the MMU, is you try to envision missions that this thing would do and then you try to see how you would go about doing that mission and did you have any difficulty doing that mission. That way you give it a handling quality rating which ranges from one to 10, 10 being loss of control, one being you can't get any better than this. I flew the thing and gave it a handling quality rating of one. That's the best. You cannot get any better than a one. It was just so precise. You could thread a needle with that thing. Picture this is a big box. And on each corner of the box, there are three jets for a total of 24 jets. I've got a rotational hand controller on this side, so I can roll this way, I can yaw this way, I can do pitch in this way. The other three degrees of freedom I have with motion on this side, if I want to go forward, backwards, translate left, translate right, translate up and down with this way. And that is a brief tour of the band maneuvering unit, one of the most delightful flying machines that any pilot can be honored to fly. It's a handling quality rating of one all the way around.